Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. I uh, wanted to reach out to you guys because I've got something that's really cool to show you on, it's actually on several vehicles. Highlander's one of them. This is the Highlander, of course. Uh, your other vehicle will be your Camry uh, and also your, uh, your new CHR. So all 2021s because they have the 2.5 safety sense system on them, all right? So what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you the curb speed reduction. First I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually uh, describe a couple things to you about the curb speed reduction that is on the uh, new 2.5 safety sense system. So inside of your uh, emblem here, you have a millimeter wave radar, all right? You also, on the very center up here, you have a camera, all right? The dynamic radar cruise control system uses both of those to get information about the car ahead of you, all right? Now you have, with the dynamic radar cruise control, you have the ability with the car, watch it, to watch, to have the car watch the car ahead of you and say you're going 70, car ahead of you is going 60, your car will slow down to match their speed and then it's just setting the car to uh, whichever kind of uh, distance that you want. There's three distances you can set it to, whether it's in, in this, I always go by car lengths because it's a little bit more, uh, uh, forgivable, I guess you can say. Um, now I realize a Corolla is not the same length as a Highlander, but it's an in general number. You're about six car lengths or so on the furthest distance, about four and a half or so in the middle, and about three in the, uh, in the short. Now keep in mind your speed will change a little bit about where you need to be there. But, um, so what the dynamic cruise control does is it watches for that distance, it'll slow you down, you get out of that car's way, it'll speed you up. So you change lanes, it'll speed you up, up to whatever you have it set. If you um, are, uh, if you stay behind them, they slow down, they speed up, it, it will adjust your speed accordingly, all right? So what curb speed reduction does, and it's actually, it's a really cool feature, is while you're in that cruise control, you could have your cruise control set, and, and in the old system, which uh, I say old system, it's really not old, it's you know, been around for, you know, a few years but in the other system that didn't have the curb speed reduction you set it to 70 you come up to a curve you're going to stay at 70 around that curve so you're going to have to actually reduce it well one of the points of the dynamic radar cruise control is that you don't have to do all of the work that it normally takes to stay on cruise control so what toyota did is they figured out well if you're on a curve you should probably slow down makes sense right and they figured obviously that uh, the more intense the curve is, the more you should slow down. So what the cruise control does is it actually now uses your steering wheel sensor, all right? And that steering wheel sensor actually feeds a lot of information to the computer. So whether it's for your backup camera, for your grid lines, for um, you know your traction control system, there, there's a lot of stuff that uses that sensor. All they did is they just gave it to the uh, cruise control system as well for that information. So you're driving down the road and you start to turn the wheel. It's gonna see how far you turn the wheel to know how much to lower the speed. So it's gonna start to slow the speed down accordingly. So if it's just a light turn, you might only lower it a couple miles per hour. If it's a pretty heavy turn, it's gonna start to slow it you know, a pretty decent amount. You can adjust that system. And I'm gonna show you this here. This is a Highlander, by the way. So you can adjust the system. And I'm gonna go ahead and start this car. I'm gonna shut this door. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's actually very similar on both of them. The icons will be the same. So, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use these buttons over here, the steering wheels, all that stuff. It, it's really very close in the Camry, very close in the CHR. So this is gonna work for all of them, all right? So what you're gonna see is you're gonna see this center screen here and you got these icons right here. All right, we're gonna go to that icon, which is the little gear. I'm gonna go down here. One, two, three, four, five. There we go to that icon right there. All right, and then we're gonna come over to this center icon, which has the picture is the same as your cruise control picture. So this is your arming for your cruise control. So it's the same as your cruise control. And you're gonna hit your okay button. You're gonna press and hold it. Now here is your dynamic radar cruise control curve speed reduction. Now you can see over here, if you hit this uh, okay button, now you're gonna change, you can shut it off. If you don't want it to reduce the speed, shut it off. If you want it to reduce it less or more, there you go. 
off, less, more. So you have three settings on your dynamic radar cruise control that you can set. So where do you want it? You, you tell us, right? So the car, one of the best things about safety sense is that you can shut off what you don't want, which some of that I always tell people, I don't know why you'd shut it off because it's great, but if you don't want it, shut it off, right? Um, you can adjust it to your liking or, you know, use it, don't use it, adjust it. I mean, however you want to do it, use part of it. Don't use other parts of it. I mean, it's a really cool system, all right? So now I'm going to kind of show you while I'm right here. So now you can see I can adjust that, that uh, curve speed reduction. Well, how do you get into dynamic radar cruise control? Well, that's easy. You're going to hit this button and it'll show you radar cruise active, right? And pay attention to other vehicles. Now there's three or four different kinds of uh, radar cruise control, all right? So you've got full speed, which this, this vehicle has. Um, definitely make sure you know which one you've got. Full speed will take you all the way to a stop. So if you got it set to 70 and you're coming in and you've got some traffic that's about to hit and, and the car sees it, you start slowing down, it'll bring you all the way to a stop. That's full speed dynamic radar cruise control, all right? Then you've got part speed, partial speed radar cruise control. What that is like on a, a 19 Highlander, you know, an 18 Highlander. So if you've got that one, you'll it'll bring you all the way down to about 25 miles per hour. Once you hit 25 miles per hour, cruise control shuts off, gives it back to you. All right. So obviously at that point, you should be in control of the car. You should always be in control of the car, regardless of what you're doing. But that's going to lower all the way down to 25 and it's going to give the car back. It's just going to shut itself off. It'll be like you hit cancel. All right give the car back to you like i said make sure you know which one you have because it's going to be important all right so the dynamic radar cruise control it's you know there's like i said there's a couple different versions of it if you want to change the distance this icon will be the same on all of them so i'm going to hit my back button here to get to this main screen i'm just going to kind of go to a main screen like you'd be on while you're driving right and you see this right here i'm hitting this button if you look right up in the center spot now, some of them, depending on the car, they'll have like a little car there they'll show you. Some of them will just show the bars. Some of them will have little bars that, to, you know, off to the side and the center. They could be in different spots, but it will do the same thing with the icon, right? And that's your about six car lengths. That's about your four and a half. That's about your three car lengths, right? Um, some salespeople that don't know, they'll go three car lengths, two car lengths, one car length. No, that would be stupid. They're not going to have you with a safety system one car length from the car ahead of you while you're going 70 miles an hour. All right, so kind of think that out. And if you've got a salesperson that says, well, it's three car lengths, two car lengths, one car length, they either don't know or they don't care. So I'm always trying to tell you guys exactly what I know. I know it's not three, two, one. All right. And based off of the distances, now, some people, and, and, and they'll tell you the distances are like 150, 150. I'm still not wrong on what I'm telling you. So, but some people can't look at it and go, that's 50 feet. Or that's 100 feet. Some, some people just can't look at feet. But they can go, that's about a car length. That's about two car lengths. That's about three car lengths. You can see about how far you are, all right, from the car ahead of you. But if you were one car length, if you look in front of me, you'd be here to that Corolla that's right there and at 70 miles an hour following that car ahead of you. Toyota's not going to let you get that close unless you go into non-dynamic radar cruise control, all right, or non-dynamic cruise control or conventional cruise control. In order to get to conventional, turn this off, press this back on and hold it for one and a half seconds it will end up going to constant speed control ready. It'll change you into where you're in your speed control. All right. So that is uh, something that this does. So the cruise control is really awesome. Like I said, this whole, the whole reason I wanted to do this was on the new safety sense 2.5, which is on your Highlander, on your Camry and on your CHR, it will use the steering wheel sensor to see how far you're turning the wheel. And as you're turning that wheel, it's going to reduce the speed as you're going around the corner. Once you bring the wheel back to straight, it's going to go ahead and put you back to what you have set. So you don't have to worry about resetting your cruise control to a different level 
while you're coming up to a curve or hitting the brakes and slowing down that way or doing what some of us do and just kind of winging it and just say, I'm going to hit it at 70 and let's see what happens. So don't do that, guys. We all have done it, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun, right? Um, but it's always nice to take a, you know, a 90 degree curve at 70 miles an hour. So it, it you know, makes your passengers look at you weird. So anyway, I appreciate you guys staying this long. Definitely, um, appreciate all you, uh, all of you guys that like and subscribe. Every one of you guys are great. Um, you're all my favorite people. If you do that, the, the ones that don't, at least you watched and at least you got this far. So I appreciate you guys there. Um, all you guys that always comment, appreciate every one of you guys. I look at all your comments. I respond to all of them. Let me know what you think of this system. It's a new system. Like I said, it's only on those three vehicles at the time of recording here. I have a sneaking suspicion once we get to 2022, we're going to add vehicles to that. So if you're watching this and it's, you know, 2022 model year, you can put it in the comments if you want, but I understand there'll probably be more cars that have it. As of right now, there's not been an announcement for that. So I don't know if the Corolla or the RAV4 or anything like that's officially going to get it. Um, I know that Toyota tends to put it on a few and then go to the next and then put it on a few more and then go to the next, put it on a few more. Um, it's the same way that they rolled out safety sense to start with. Um, you know, safety sense initially was just safety sense C and P. And then when it went from there, it went to 2.0 and then it went from 2.0. A few cars had it, had the lane tracing, things like that. Once you went from 2.0, now they went to 2.5 plus. And then that's where you got, you know, the system that we're talking about here. And I've done a video on safety sense 2.5, show you a few of the differences that are on there, but I wanted to show you one individually on this dynamic radar cruise control and the curb speed reduction. So, um, definitely Steve watch with Beam Toyota. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, uh, we look forward to, uh, everything coming forward here in the new year. So, um, at the time that I'm uh, recording this, it's December 30th. So uh, we're one day away from the new year. So happy new year, everybody. Um, and if you're seeing it in June, hey, happy new year anyway. Um, so, but uh, appreciate everyone of you guys. Like, subscribe. Love y'all. Have a great day. We will talk to you guys later.